In general terms, ang structural system ay ang specific arrangement ng members na connected in a certain manner upang magdala ng loads as well as mag-facilitate ng safe load transfer down to the supporting soil. In other words, ito ang framework or pinakaskeleton ng isang structure. Categorically speaking, may iba't ibang structure sa civil engineering. Ang ilan sa mga ito ay Building structure such as residential dwellings Commercial Industrial Or institutional facilities Highways such as bridge or tunnel underpass drainage such as box culvert outfall or riprap sa mga nabanggit ililimit natin ang discussion sa buildings particularly sa structural system ng residential dwellings Ang framework ng bahay sa ating panahon na majority ay gawa sa reinforced concrete ay karaniwang binubuo ng footings, columns, beams, slabs, at connections. Ito ay similar sa ibang type of occupancy kagaya ng schools at hospitals. Ang NSCP ay nagbigay ng general provision tungkol dito, depende sa kung ano ang hinihingi ng design. Ito ay binabanggit sa Section 404.4.1 Technically, ang classification ng structural system ng halos lahat ng bahay dito sa Pilipinas ay Moment Resisting Frame or Simply Frame. Ang basic arrangement ay beam na connected sa dalawang column at both ends by means of a fixed support. Ang magkabilang dulo naman ng columns ay connected sa footings. Ito ay primarily designed upang magresist ng moment or rotation as a result of applied gravity as well as lateral loads. Kaya naman tinatawag itong moment resisting frame. As stated in Section 208.4.6.3 Before we go much further, let's have a general understanding about applied loads. Ang gravity at lateral loads ay ang two main loads na ginagamit sa design. Mainly, ito ay parehong nagkakreate ng bending moment as internal reaction, causing the structure to rotate and deflect in a certain manner. Ang bending moment generated by lateral loads ang mas critical ang effect ng patumbahin ang system dahil sa action at direction nito. Mas lalo itong kilala bilang wind at seismic forces. 
in most cases, ang wind load ang nag-govern. Kaya ang lahat ng buildings of any occupancy, including other vertical structures like antenna towers and billboards, ay dapat i-design at i-construct considering the effects of wind forces. Ito ay stated sa Section 207.1. Kahit na ang wind ang governing lateral load, it is still required na i-consider ang risk and effect of an earthquake to the extent na ang seismic detailing requirements and limitations ang masusunod. Sinasabi ito sa Section 208.1.3 at supported naman ng Section 208.1.2. Initially sa design, ang isang structure ay dapat munang magkaroon ng specific seismic zone assignment. Once assigned, ang structural system ay tinatawag ng seismic force resisting system as defined by section 404.4.6. At sa ilang bahagi ng Section 418.2.1 Ang moment resisting frame na siyang structural system ng single at multiple story residential na pinag-uusapan natin kanina ay kailangan ding sumunod sa nasabing code requirements. Ang purpose ng seismic design ay maging earthquake resistant ang isang structure. Huwag po sana kayong magkaroon ng misinterpretation. Ang pagiging earthquake resistant does not mean to be earthquake proof. Ang objective ay ma-prevent ang major structural damage in the event of an earthquake na maaaring mauwi sa loss of property or worse, loss of life. Ito ay clearly stated sa Section 208.1.1. Ngayon ang simpleng tanong, ano ang dapat gawin upang maging matibay ang structural system? Matibay in a sense na ma-prevent ang major structural damage at maging earthquake resistant. 